welcome to this YouTube channel where I talk about Jesus Christ, His love and His power to save and to heal and to bless. Today I'll be talking and praying from James chapter 4 verse 8 to 10. I'm reading the New Living Translation. It reads, Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up in honor. Praise the Lord. Permit me to title this little broadcast, Drawing Near to God. God created us to find peace and fulfillment through fellowship as human beings. One of the most important needs of man is the need for fellowship with other humans. Nobody likes to be lonely, isolated, or ignored or rejected. That is why men and women desire partners and friends in life. And that is also a reason for parents desiring to have their own children. This is also one of the reasons for families. Our need or desire for fellowship with other humans is a pointer to how we are being wired or created as human beings. We are wired to find peace, fulfillment, security through fellowship. We need physical fellowship with other humans, but we also need spiritual fellowship with our Maker. There's a sense of peace, fulfillment, and security we will never experience until we come into fellowship with God. There is a peace and security that cannot be found in human fellowship. Such peace and security only comes as we come into fellowship with God. We have physical needs like food, like rest, like water, like sex. We have emotional needs like the sense of achievement, the sense of success, the sense of security. There is emotional needs. We also have spiritual needs. And of course, what satisfies our physical needs may not necessarily satisfy our emotional needs. And what satisfies our emotional needs may not satisfy our spiritual needs. The only fellowship that will satisfy our spiritual need is fellowship with God. Of course, fellowship requires us to come close. Relationship can be distant. We can have relationship with somebody outside our country. We can have relationship with somebody outside our city. But when we want to have fellowship, we come together. To have fellowship with God, we must come close to God. Now, from the book of James chapter 4, verse 8 to 10 that I read, two things hinders us from coming close to God. It hinders us our fellow, from fellowshipping with God. Number one is our sins. That is why James chapter 4, verse 8 to 10 says, Wash your hands. You sinners, purify your hearts, you that are double-minded. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Let us humble ourselves before the Lord and He will lift us up. What that passage is saying is this. Sin will hinder our fellowship from God. And of course, every human being knows that one of the things that draws them away from God is their sins. But there is a solution to sin, and it is found in only one person, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one that has died to pay the price of our sins. He is the one that has shed his blood to redeem us from the power of sin and the consequences of sin. In the same way, the second thing that hinders our fellowship or, or coming close to God is the fact that most of us don't even know God. We need to know a person before we can fellowship with him. Again, the solution is in Jesus Christ. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So we find out that the two solutions to our problem of coming close to God is found only in Jesus Christ. Now, we cannot know God by our own efforts. We cannot know God by religious observance. We cannot know God by scientific research. Neither can we know God by philosophical reasoning. But God has chosen to reveal himself to us 
to man, to humanity, through faith in Jesus Christ. We can know God by putting our trust in Jesus Christ to save us from our sins and lead us to the knowledge of God, the knowledge of the Father. Today, I am calling you and I am challenging you to come close to God. God loves you. God has a plan for your life. You don't have to live your life in misery. You don't have to live your life in dejection, in despondency. There is a plan by God for your life, a good plan. And God wants to draw you close. He wants to pour His love upon you. And He's asking you today to come close to Him. And the way to do that is to simply accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. What does that mean? You accept that He died for your sins and He rose again to give you a new life. Romans, 10, 9 verse, uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 says, If you will believe in your heart the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will also believe that God raised Him from the dead, He said you shall be saved. Not only that you believe, you confess it with your mouth. Today I'm praying with you in the name of Jesus that you receive faith to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you also receive the faith and the courage to confess Him as your Lord and Savior. I am praying for you today that you will experience the miracle of salvation. You will experience the encounter of regeneration. You will know for surety by the power of the Holy Spirit that there has been a transformation in your life. And that transformation brings you into fellowship with God and you have peace in your heart and a sense of security that you know God and that you are saved. You are a child of God. Thank you for listening. The Lord bless you. Please send me your testimonies as the Lord visits.